one of the worst situation a seafarer can encounter during his or her sea service is the order by the master to abandon vessel in the face of danger. If not properly conducted, this operation, instead of saving lives, may lead to unexpected losses. In this regard, regular abandoned ship drills, which their frequency is prescribed by the SOS Convention, are vital to prepare crew on board to safely manage an abandoned ship operation. An effective abandoned ship drill is parted by four stages, which are notification and mastering, lowering the abandoned ship means into water, embarking, and debriefing. Stage 1 Notification and Mastering Mastering the assigned station should be completed quickly under calm conditions without shouting and panic. Each crew member should proceed to the assigned station having put the personal life jacket on and having in hand the immersion suit and their assigned carrying things. Immersion suits must only be used upon the master's order, usually in the cold region. If these are to be used in later stage, then they should be stored in the lifeboat. All crews shall also inspect their life jacket lights and whistle. The lifeboat team leader is responsible to count and report the final number to master prior abandoning. Stage 2 Lowering the lifeboat into the water. All crews shall carry out their assigned duties and responsibilities as per the master list approved by the company. In conditions of calm sea and time availability, the abandoned ship mean, boat, or raft should be lowered into seawater and an embarkation pilot loader is to be used. In this case, only the crew assigned or trained and authorized to operate the lifeboat will be embarked and lowered with the boat. In case of a free for lifeboat, or on-load release cycle, this stage shall follow after the embarkation stage. Once the lifeboat is waterborne, the engine should be tested and put to continuous work for more than 3 minutes.
other equipments on the lifeboat must also be checked, such as the rudder, propelling gears, battery, lights, compass, and others, in accordance with the SOLAS regulations. Stage 3. Embarkation As soon as the side boat and the normal lowering procedure is in place, then the boat should be lowered into water only with assigned crew on board using davits or cranes. The control of brake is under safety officer's supervision and the whole operation is subject to master's approval. The rest of the crew will embark using a side pilot loader and master will be the last one to embark. In case of on-load release, the embarkation is conducted as soon as the boat is to the appropriate side position. The final release is again subject to master's approval. In case of a free fall lifeboat, the crew shall proceed to assign seats and fasten the seat belts. Safety officer is responsible to check the appropriate fastening of the crew and report to the master. All hatches must be secured and the engine to be ready for use. The final release order is given by the master. During drills, the embarkation in both side boats and free fall lifeboat should be real, in securing position with all available securing equipment in place. In drills, do not attempt to embark all crew in the boat without ensuring that it is properly secured in the storage position. The following are pre-required in order to execute the abandoning of the vessel. Number one, trained crew. Number two, appropriate and operational means. Number three, appropriate provisions stored in boats. Number four, maintained and tested lifeboat engines. Number five, communication equipment in place. Number six, navigational equipment. Number seven, distress signal or message submitted to coastal stations and nearby vessels. Stage 4. Debriefing The fourth stage, debriefing, is only applicable for drills. A real-life incident is completed in Stage 3 after lifeboat or life raft departure from vessel site. An extended risk assessment should be conducted prior operation commencement in order to identify and mitigate possible risks. After completing the drill, the safety officer should debrief the crew referring to all stages of execution. Special care should be made to appropriate use of personal equipment and the procedure of lowering and deploying abandoned ship means of boats or rafts. Also, other equipments vital for survival should be familiarized, such as After the drill is done, all used materials or equipment should be returned to appropriate positions or conditions as before the drill. Brief questions may be used to check crew's knowledge or lessons learned from the drill. <laughs>